Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Now it looks like the chickens have in their, their coops for the election. Now Boris Johnson got his election uh, results for today or last night and it looks like a very embarrassing show with uh, a great result of for the Boris for the general election of 299 to 70. But he doesn't win the actual vote because there wasn't enough people there. So the Labour Party has just literally chickened out. Which is quite hilarious. I can't actually believe how these little bigots actually want to do this. Because it's like, if they can't vote, oh let's not vote and let's not it happen. How undemocratically fair is that? Boris wins a full good majority of 299 which means there's a good bunch of folk who want the, this general election. I don't. But it might work in his favour. But I'm not God. But then the Labour Party doesn't even show up. Look at this picture right here. There's like literally half the seats are empty. Green seats on both sides. But most of them are on the Labour Party. At least the SNP and the Lib Dems want a general election too. Because they're going to get their asses kicked in the fucking polls. Now, I find this really hilarious. Like, it's I was really mad about this before. Don't know why. But I was mad before about it. And I see it now. It's quite funny. So, as Boris loses a big majority. Um, well, by a massive majority. That's why John Burko, asshole, said you cannot have it anymore. It's a fucking joke. It, 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 it is a real joke. He wins by a clear margin and he still isn't allowed to do it. Oh well, we'll just play hardball and play the next card then. That's how we're going to do it. And that's what Boris has gon done today. Now, he's also today has sent a letter to the EU asking for this extension to be the final extension. Which we all know the European Union does not want to happen. Because the European Union wants us to stay part of the European Union as long as possible because they do not like democratic decisions. That's why France, Spain, Italy, Poland and Germany have rights in them any other time. France is still doing it good for them and it's quite hard to keep going with all the protests and these people have must have must have the enthusiasm in them because the Brits don't have it. But the Brits will have their own rally on this week. I believe it is the 28th. There will be a rally down in Westminster so they can talk about the issue themselves. And all the Brexiteer supporters, probably the main ones, supporters on YouTube will be down there too. I'm not going to be at one of these things because I have a job and I don't really want to lose it because of this. But I might lose it anyway because of Brexit, but I don't really care. I don't like that job anyway. So. Anyway, what's next? What are we expect to see next? Well, we expect to see Boris Johnson to actually give out uh, another chance for a general election. Great. But the only difference is he needs a small majority for the general election. So even if the he loses, he only needs a good three quarters of the vote. No. That's how he lost it. <laughs> he doesn't need a full three quarters of votes. I think that's how it works. Because he needed a full majority of the votes last time to get him through. But this time, he might actually not need as much. And I believe the this might be contradicted after the fact of the SNP and the Lib Dems doing their little bill, which I've talked about before, which might screw up the whole thing in one go to make it happen on the 9th of December instead of the 12 like Boris wanted. Now that's only because they want the polls. They want the numbers from the students, the pupils from the school so they can get double the points. Jeremy Corbyn said that himself. And it's even turned to the fact that Jeremy Corbyn himself has wanted to support the general election because somehow no deal is an option. It's not going to be an option anymore. Yeah, that's probably going to happen if you win. If you win. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see if, how Boris gets through this. But I see how undemocratic the 
Parliament is becoming, people are getting angry, they're getting mad. If this all stops altogether, it will be very interesting to see in the future. But, just remember that number, 299 against 70. And somehow, that's a good majority to win for a general election. But you still don't get it because you'd want, you have to have three quarters of it to make sense. He clearly bloody won. He won. And I might as well show you the other footage, which was from the, the the House of Commons before this election result came out, where Jacob Rees-Mogg mocked the opposition bench for not even wanting the general election, which is quite hilarious. That this video came from the the Leave Party Facebook page. You should watch it. This will be the third time that the House will have voted on a general election. Can the Leader of the House tell us on any other occasion he can recall that the Opposition have been offered an election on three occasions and rejected it? Today, earlier today, I was actually praising the right honourable gentleman, the leader of the opposition, and today I'm able to quote him because his words are words of wisdom. He said on the 24th of September 2019, exactly one month ago, this crisis can only be settled with a general election. That election needs to take place as soon as this government's threat of a disastrous no deal is taken off the table. We have met the condition he set. The Prime Minister has got a deal. No deal is off the table. And yet, for some reason, the opposition still doesn't want a general election. But, Mr Speaker, we know why this is. We know why they won't have an election. It's because they're afraid of the voters. So, so alienated are the voters, so feeling disenfranchised are they with their socialist um, friends that the socialists are running away. The eyes to the right, 299. The nose to the left, 70. The eyes to the right, 299. To the nose to the left, 70. So the eyes have it, the eyes have it. The eyes have it, but the motion has not obtained the majority required under the Fixed Term Parliaments Act 2011. And because the order, I'm coming to the right honourable gentleman. Because the majority required has not been reached, the noes have it. Traitor! 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 Speaker, the leader of the opposition, literally and figuratively, has run away from the judgment of the uh, people for the, for the for the third time, Mr. Speaker. He's turned down our offer to get Brexit done, in spite of the fact that he and every member of his party stood on a promise to deliver Brexit in this Parliament, and I think, frankly, that the electorate will find his behaviour utterly bewildering. But as I said uh, when moving the motion, we will not allow this paralysis to continue, and one way or another we must proceed straight to an election. So later on, uh, this evening, the government will give notice of presentation for a short bill for an election on the 12th of December so that we can finally get Brexit done. And this is, there is no support in the, in the House that we've heard earlier on from the benches opposite for the uh, WAB to proceed. Uh, but Mr Speaker, this House cannot any longer keep this country hostage. Millions of families and businesses cannot plan for the future 
and and uh, I don't believe that this paralysis and this stagnation should be allowed to continue. Now that no deal is off the table, we have a great new deal. We have a great new deal. And it's time for the voters to have a chance to pronounce on that deal and, and to, and to re replace this dysfunctional parliament with a new parliament that can get Brexit done so the country can move on. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more content like this if you like my opinion. YouTube is taking down subscribers all the time and making sure channels like mine, which are small and without any views, do not get looked at at all. So if you see this video, please share it amongst your friends, even if they don't like you, me, talk about it, or that. Please, and thank you, and hail to the Empire.